This video is a very important message for Team Adopt Me. Please Team Adopt Me, if what I'm about to say will make you upset, please, please don't delete my account, because I work a lot for my pets and I do a lot of giveaways so more people can enjoy these pets. I think I'm speaking for most Adopt Me players out there, and if I don't then I'm sorry. Just ignore my video and keep doing what you do. You are all amazing and I'm more than grateful to have such cool people watching my content. Before judging my words, please watch the whole video first and hopefully your questions will be clarified. I also want to mention I have nothing to win from this video. My channel is not monetized yet. If it was, I would use those money to make more giveaways. So when that happens, be sure to be subscribed to my channel. If you're watching this right now and you are an Adopt Me player and you identify with what I'm about to say, please share this video with Adopt Me team after watching. Share it on Twitter, in the comment section, on TikTok, on YouTube. Tell them to watch this video and make a change. I started to notice something since playing Adopt Me. I played this game for 5 months now and I learned a lot of things about it. But what made me wonder is, why does Adopt Me team favors the rich kids? Yep, you heard that right. I understand that the income of Roblox developers come from microtransactions or spending Robux and premium accounts. That means every time you buy something with Robux in a Roblox game, you support the developers and I definitely agree with that, that is a good thing. If you enjoy a game, supporting the ones who made it is absolutely the right thing to do. But why does Adopt Me developers favor rich players? Because it brings them more money, right? Well, yeah, but there's a catch. Most Adopt Me players cannot afford Robux, or if they do, their parents won't buy them Robux. Most Adopt Me players are kids, and most of these kids' parents are not rich. Since this part of audience is the biggest, without them there would be no rich kids playing either. I know what you think. Oh, but Kiwi, 800 Robux is just $10, I mean, you don't have to be rich. Yeah, you don't, you are absolutely right. It's not. If you want just one pet. But what if you want to buy 4 pets, so you know, to make a Neon. Not even a Mega Neon, no, just one little Neon. Well, then you will need at least $30, and that is just for one single Game Pass pet. Since I started playing Adopt Me, there have been 3 updates with standalone Robux pets. The Robodog Game Pass, the Ladybugs Game Pass, and now the Peacock Game Pass. I couldn't help myself ignore the fact that every single time players were angry that these pets cost Robux, or more likely, that they felt excluded. I watched a lot of players being called poor for not having those pets. Imagine how it feels to be in a server and see a lot of players instantly buying that pet, and you just stand there feeling happy for them but at the same time feeling bad for yourself because you can't afford that pet. Well, that's how most players feel like. I know, I know. Team Adopt Me is not made by a single man, the team has now probably more than 40 members, and Team Adopt Me, if you watch this, congratulations for making it this far, I'm sure you worked hard for this and you deserve all the praise. This game is amazing and we all love it. In fact, can I get a round of applause for Team Adopt Me? That's better. But if you got from 16 members at the start of 2020 to at least 40 members now, that means this game is making money. And I'm absolutely sure that you use those money to hire other people to make this game better and make more money. And that's perfectly normal and how things work and I have no problem with that. It's just good business. Again, congratulations, I love what you're doing and I respect you. But if the game is doing so well, why do you still add these Robux pets? They are cool and we all love them, but why do you add them if only a smaller number of players can afford them? Oh, of course, those who cannot afford them can trade for them anytime. Silly me, why didn't I think about that? Well, I actually did think about that. Have you tried trading free pets for Robux pets? Most kids who trade Robux pets won't accept an offer that's not very profitable for them. So, if you worked hard for your pets, now you just have to give them away to a rich kid who can afford a peacock pet, because you cannot afford one. The rich kid will now have your pets and he will just buy another peacock and who knows, maybe find someone else to trade the new peacock and thus make more pets and so on. This is how Adopt Me team favors the rich kids. If you're an Adopt Me player and you live in the United States or UK, of course, you might afford Robux pets. But what if you're from Philippines or Eastern Europe? Players who live there do not afford Robux pets as much as Western kids do. But don't worry, I have found two solutions to this problem. One, make Robux pets a bit cheaper. This way you actually encourage more players to buy them because they're cheaper. And since they will be cheaper, more will be bought. Two. When you add a new Robux pet, also add another pet that costs bucks, but like a lot of bucks. So those who can afford the Robux pet will just buy it, and those who want the expensive bucks pet will just have to play more to get it. The more pets of the same type exist in game, the lower the value, but players who can't afford to buy Robux pets at all will finally have a chance to get them by trading less free pets for those. 
Then the players who have the Robux pet will trade with the players that have the Box pet and everybody's happy. This solution means a bit of extra work for the Dapmi team and I'm sure that they are pretty busy with all the cool updates coming soon. But if you have time to add a new pet with Robux, I'm sure you could make another version of it for a lot of bucks. These are the solutions I've come up with. If you have better ideas, I would love to see them in practice. Now I'm waiting for an answer from Team Adopt Me. It makes me really sad to see players who feel like outsiders because when I was a kid, I was an outsider too. At kindergarten or in primary school, I was bullied too by other classmates, so believe me, I know how it feels to be laughed at. As I said, I got nothing to win from this video besides a few subscribers. In fact, I don't even think a lot of people will actually watch this video. But hey, I'm trying and I'm doing it for you, folks. So share this video with Adopt Me team, copy the video link and share it on Adopt Me's Twitter page or TikTok. Tell them in comments on the YouTube videos to watch this video. Let them know what you want and hopefully we might change this game for good. Tell your friends about this video too. Tell them to share it with Adopt Me team. The more people share it, the higher the chance they will see it and we will get a change. If this change is really possible, then you can do it. Share this video. In the coming days, I will still try to trade my pets for Peacock Pets so I can make giveaways for you all, so subscribe to my channel. I am Kivikaki, I make Adopt Me videos, I love drinking tea and I do a lot of giveaways, so if you like these things, then subscribe to my channel with bell notification. See you next video. Until then, be cool and have fun. Kivikaki out.